Welcome to the November housing market update from CoreLogic RP Data. The housing market appears to be moving through an inflection point with the rate of capital gain reducing over the past three months. Dwelling values across the combined capital cities increased by 0.2% over the month of October and were 1.4% higher over the rolling quarter and 10.1% higher over the past 12 months. Dwelling values are still broadly rising, however, the annual rate of capital gain is slowing from a recent peak of 11.1% earlier this year. Drilling down, the performance of the housing market is vastly different from city to city. Dwelling values are continuing to retract in Perth and Darwin, down by 3.6% and 3.7% over the past 12 months. At the other end of the spectrum, Sydney and Melbourne values have increased by 15.6% and 12.8% over the past 12 months, and it appears as though these very hot markets may be moving through the peak of their growth cycle. The remaining capital cities are continuing to show a modest growth trend, with Canberra showing the third highest annual growth rate of 4.5%, followed by Brisbane and Hobart, where values are up by 3.8% over the year, and Adelaide, where values are 2.3% higher over the year. With mortgage rates lifting in October, premiums being applied to mortgage rates for investment purposes, and generally larger deposits being required to secure a home loan, the stricter lending conditions are likely to continue to dampen some of the exuberance we've seen in the housing market, particularly amongst the investor segment in Sydney, where dwelling values are now 77% higher since the beginning of 2009. Overall, the new trend of slower capital gains will be a welcome development in the housing sector by the Reserve Bank and by APRA, both of whom have expressed some concerns around the pace of home value appreciation and the level of investor activity in the housing market. The pace of growth of investor-related housing credit remains slightly above APRA's 10% speed limit. However, if the current trend continues, we're likely to see growth in investment loans reach the 10% target either late this year or early next year. As the market loses some steam, auction clearance rates are trending lower, reaching the low 60% mark through October and into the first week of November. Additionally, we're seeing rental yields reaching record lows in Sydney and Melbourne, which will act as a further disincentive to investors. As investor demand slows, owner-occupier lending has shown a slight pickup, which may set the scene for a more balanced mix of housing market activity over the remainder of the year. We're expecting the ongoing low interest rate environment will continue to stimulate housing demand and place a floor under buyer demand that should prevent the housing market from suffering a substantial correction in dwelling values.